If you've spent any time placing orders in Power Chart, you likely know that you can create favorite orders to speed your order entry process. You might not be aware, though, that you can organize those favorites into folders and subfolders according to your preference. From this Clinic Orders M page, I'm going to click this plus sign next to New Order Entry. This is going to open up my Add Order window. When it does, I have the opportunity to select from folders that are predetermined by my system, if any are. As you can see here, there are several folders here based on my system build, but you might not have these. It might be completely blank for you. If you click this star icon, it'll reveal any favorite orders that you have specified. If you haven't done anything beyond this, like organizing and creating folders and subfolders, you'll likely just see a list of orders that are displayed there, or possibly this first one that says my favorite plans, if you have favorite power plans, and then the rest of just listed orders there. But if you click the small triangle drop down menu next to the star, you get the option to organize your favorites. I'm gonna go ahead and click that. A window appears that shows the structure of how my favorite orders are organized. So you can see that there's a favorites at the top and then I have a subfolder for ambulatory in-office favorites. I could also distinguish prescriptions separately from in-office medications. I also have a free order at the bottom here just hanging out, so we'll get to that in a minute. To create a subfolder for my favorites, I'm going to first select the primary folder that I wanna build off of. These are gonna be nested as I create them, so you wanna make sure you start at the appropriate top level folder. So I'm gonna select ambulatory in-office favorites and then I'm gonna select create folder on the left hand side and within this I'm going to type radiology. I've just created a subfolder underneath my ambulatory in-office favorites. You can see I have another folder there indicating labs. If I click that you can see I've got four subfolders currently built. So if I wanted to build a subcategory of lab I could click labs then click create folder and we'll call this infectious disease. And you'll just continue this process for however many folders you want to create. My subfolders shown here are particularly key if you're gonna be adding these folders to your custom orders M page, where you can see these subfolders and orders nested within them. But for now, let's just say I wanna reorganize a favorite that's already in here, like this testosterone order. I'll click this, and I'm gonna drag it to an appropriate folder. So now I can see this opens up, and I have multiple other orders within that category. A few other items in here. If you have an item selected, you do have the option to delete it. You can do this with a folder or with an order. Similarly, you can select move to folder if you want to relocate something manually. If you click this, it's going to open up a menu. You can select another location where you want to send it. If you select a folder, you do have the option to rename, and we already talked about creating a subfolder. Down at the bottom, you have the option to uncheck this box that says sort favorites alpha. If you do that, they'll be sorted by the order that you built them in and not alphabetically, so you typically want to leave that checked. Let's close this and add a new order. From here, I'll go to my search menu and I'll type in an order. I'll press enter to pull up this menu, right click, add to favorites, and now I'll select the folder that I want this to go in. Let's say I'm finished. I'm gonna get out of here and go to my quick orders end page. From this end page, I can see that my favorite orders are accessible in the new order entry component. If I click this primary folder, I get the subfolders that I built, and I can continue on this process until I find the orders that I want to place. But specifying favorites and organizing those into folders and subfolders is really only going to be useful if you add them to your clinic orders or quick orders end page, this page that I'm on right here. So be sure to watch that video as well.